Hi there, Rissy here with another episode of Rissy's Room for you. And I'm so excited because it's Wacky Wednesday. Woo! We get to get wacky today. But before we do, I'm also excited because this is the first Wednesday of Water Safety Month. All of May is Water Safety Month. So if you have a pool in your backyard, be safe. If you have a bathtub, be safe. Today we're going to read Raffi Learns to Swim. This book was actually written by the American Red Cross and I'm dedicating this book to all the little swimmers who take classes at Rockville Swim and Fitness Center. So, swimmers, are you ready? Because it's Wacky Wednesday, I need you to go get on all your swim gear and let's read this book. I sure do love Wacky Wednesdays. Do you have your swim goggles on? Oh, we need those for safety. What about this? Do you have this on? You need that to be safe too. Okay, let's learn about Raffi and her journey to learn how to swim. Raffi, Raffi, where are you? Time to go to your first swim lesson, called Waddles excitedly. He stepped into her room to check on his little sister, Raffi, but she wasn't there. Just as he was about to leave, he heard something move. He looked over the bed and saw Raffi hiding underneath a beach towel, just like this one. What are you doing? Waddles asked. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to my swim lesson, said Raffi, peeking from underneath her towel. I don't want to learn to swim. But Raffi, learning to swim is fun, said Waddles. Your teacher, Miss LaPink, will tell you about water safety and teach you how to be a good swimmer. Feeling better, Raffi gathered up her towel, swimsuit, sunglasses, and sunscreen. She followed Waddles downstairs and off to her first swim lesson. At the pool, Waddles showed Raffi to her class and then went to join his classmates. Hi, boys and girls. My name is Miss LaPink. I can see you are all ready to learn about water safety and to have some fun in the water, she said. Everyone cheered, yay, including Raffi. Okay, be cool, follow the rule, Miss LaPink told the class. That's the first rule. Following the rules will keep you safe. Another rule is swim with a buddy in a supervised area. Does anyone know what that means? Miss LaPink asked. Um, always swim with a friend and only when lifeguards or grown-ups are watching, said Zora Zebra eagerly. That's right, said Miss LaPink. And always obey lifeguards. They help you stay safe and can help if you get hurt, she told the class. Oh. Miss LaPink led the class to the shallow end of the pool. Does anyone know how to tell the shallow end from the deep end of the pool? Raffi knew the answer to this one. Uh, I can stand up in shallow water and keep my face dry and the deep water is where I can't touch the bottom, she said. That's right, said Miss LaPink. Miss LaPink pointed to the numbers on the pool wall. Oh, these numbers tell you how deep the water is, she explained. Always check to make sure the water isn't too shallow or too deep. The rule is look before you leap. You wouldn't want to jump on somebody or something that could hurt you. Okay, let's get in the water and start learning to swim, Miss LaPink said to the class. Steps, ladders, ramps, or the sides of the pool are great ways to safely get in or out of the water. One by one, the youngsters entered the water. Great job, everyone! Let's all get in a circle! Miss LaPink told the class. Can anyone put their face in the water, she asked. <clears throat> I can, I can, shouted Plato Platypus. Plato dipped his face 
into the water and then out again, smiling and wet. Very good, Play-Doh. When I count to three, everybody try it. Miss LaPink counted. One, two, three. On three, everyone put their faces in the water. Wow, exclaimed Miss LaPink. That was great. Now you are ready to blow bubbles. Everyone needs a buddy to be sure you are blowing lots of bubbles. Miss LaPink made Denver Dog and Raffi buddies. You first, Raffi, Denver said. I'll hold your hands. Raffi wasn't sure about putting her face in the water and blowing bubbles. Her tail feathers were shaking. Ready, go. Slowly, Raffi took a deep breath and put her face in the water. Denver counted one, two, three, while Raffi blew bubbles. When she finished, she shook the water from her feathers and laughed. This is fun! Raffi and her classmates learned how to float on their fronts and on their backs. They learned how to roll over from their fronts to their backs. Raffi even learned how to stay in one place without touching the bottom. This is called treading water, said Miss LaPink. Raffi loved her swim lessons. She practiced at home just as Miss LaPink said. She was eager to show her mom and dad how much she learned every day. Finally, the class was ready to start stroking with their arms and kicking their legs. Miss LaPink made sure everyone in the class got lots of practice. They were all getting so good. Raffi could not believe all the great things she was able to do in the water. I'm so glad I'm learning to swim, exclaimed Raffi. I'm so glad Raffi learned how to swim too. And I'm so glad that all the kids at the Rockville Swim and Fitness Center are also learning how to swim. If you're interested in swimming or learning more about water safety, I suggest you check them out. Or check out your local aquatic center, wherever you may live. Until next time, keep blowing bubbles, keep being safe, and have a wonderful Wacky Wednesday. Thank you.